Last time, we covered the Indus Valley Civilization, one of the cradles of our species, and how it was Iranian farmers who underpinned it, and not as Aborigines, because native South Indian tribes like the Ong people lay claim to that honor, and that's a matter of anthropological record. Their enduring contribution to India? The bulk of the ancestry in, in today's Indic people. North and South, Aryan and Dravidian, with some outlier cases and anomalies, of course. Pakistan, in particular, has the highest amount of Neolithic Iranian farmer ancestry than any other region of the world out there. But generally speaking, the further south you go in the subcontinent, the more Neolithic and Ong admixture you'll see in the locals, but there's a reason why Indians aren't fair-skinned on average considering the three-way mixture that they are between these farmers, these aborigines, and also these guys who open up a can of worms in the Indic community for no fucking reason in the post-British era. The controversy? There is none. At least there shouldn't be. But what is commonly overlooked about the Aryan migration fiasco is that the genetic influence went both ways. It's not just the, the fact that the hybridization between the Iranian farmers and Nordic European steppe invaders was complete before the Aryans even left Central Asia. The plot twist? Inhabitants from the Indus Valley migrated westwards and spread some of their seed to Iranian farmers too. You see, the Eastern Iranics have picked up 5 to 10 to 20 percent ancestry from East Asians and also South Asians, despite being a fairly genetically stable population. The source? Ancient migrations from the Indus Valley civilization into the BMAC horizon, or the cradle of Iranian civilization, began. You see, several in this valley civilization um, inhabitants were literally in sequenced BMAC sites, so they literally went all the way to South Asia, I mean uh, to South Central Asia. Nevertheless, in the subcontinent, the Neolithic and Ong South Asian elements are found at their lowest frequencies amongst high caste Indo Aryans, especially amongst the Jots and the Kalash. So while Iranics aren't heavily admixed with South Asians, we do share similar genes. We rule everywhere. Next.